Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, first build video with the Civic, so I'm excited for that. It's been on hold for a while, as you guys know, it's just the Bronco and stuff and the Ram and the Mustang. We've got a lot of vehicles here, but check this out. Look at what we got. So $80, I picked up this set of 235 75R15. Now you can see they're not mintiest tires you'll ever see, but they are all, they're all terrains. $80. I'm not going for like for a set of $400 tires. That's just not the build here. So 80 bucks. Perfect for what we need it for. Now, we're these are rims off of a Pathfinder, I believe. So obviously they're not going to work on a Civic. So what we are going to do today is take, we're going to take one wheel with us. We're going to go to my parents' house because that's where the Civic is. We're going to go over there. I got all my tools here, my jack and stuff. We're going to pick up the Civic, put it on jack stands, take all the wheels off, and we're going to switch the tires onto the rims. We're also going to be removing some bumpers, uh, just seeing the clearance that we need. I'm assuming the Civic's going to be dead. It's been sitting since that video. But yeah, guys, I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited. So these are 29 inch tall tires. And the reason I went with that is because another guy on YouTube, his name is slightly mangled. I just saw him, his uh, Civic build breakdown. It said 235, 75, R15. The one he's been running and he hasn't been snapping CVs or anything. So for me, that's gonna be perfect. I don't wanna be like putting 33s on it and snapping CVs every two minutes. So we're gonna go with 29s. We're gonna slap them on, trying to not do a lift guys. So we're gonna be, we're probably gonna have to get some spacers. But we're gonna be bashing in the, the walls. I'm trying to make these tires fit. So I'm really curious to see how much work it needs to fit these. But once it has them on, guys, it's going to look like a beast. Flash there in three, two, one. Okay, here's Lucy. Just pulled up on it for the first time since the video as well. Just dusty, but looks overall good. So we're eyeing up the fitment here. Uh, you can see bumpers going to have to come off. It's already damaged, so that makes it easier. Fenders are going to have to get chopped because they're damaged as well. doesn't really matter. Um, it looks like the front's actually going to be easier. We might need a spacer to push them out for steering clearance but the rear is definitely gonna need to be chopped. Now, we're gonna have to chop this whole freaking thing. So this is gonna come off. We're gonna take the bumper off and then we're gonna have to chop the whole, the whole probably like two, three inches back. We'll see, we'll see what we need to do, but we'll do it. We'll make it happen. Or I just buy a lift, but I don't really wanna do that. So we're gonna start with removing all four tires guys, and then we'll get a better look of what we need to do. jack stands uh, obviously you can see that the gravel so it sits lower we're just gonna have to jack it up take the wheels off and we're ready to go now if you look at this side the side i'm starting with so you can see that there this is in the way we should be able to get in there can figure it out but other than that all i need to do is get the wheels off so i can get them switched over okay so this has been sitting since the last video which was a long time ago there's no way it fires, is there? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is loyalty, my friends. <laughs> what? That's insane, guys. Just fired it up. Hasn't been touched in months. Wow. That's why you gotta like a Honda, baby. Just fires up like it was running yesterday. There we have it. We got our four rims. Funny too, because we can put the hubcaps on, which I think we'll do because it's pretty funny and just kind of looks stock, even though there's massive tires. So we're going to pop the trunk. There we go. So they don't get lost or broken. There we go. Straight in there. Okay. So what I was thinking too, guys, is judging by how tucked in this thing is, we don't have any space. My dad's got his Oldsmobile there. They have to fit four cars on here. Because of the space back there, I think when we do this, I'm gonna put the spare wheel on that side 
figure out the other three sides then just roll it out and then do that side because we're gonna have to do some trimming for sure but let's pop this bumper off guys all right guys got the bumper off so also uh, sid was the previous owner i found this in the bumper so when i popped out that side this was just in there <laughs> somebody dropped a pry bar in there and never grabbed it but it's pretty funny so bumpers off you can see what we're working with here we got stats nation i should just do that camera okay so suspension's drooped but i'm happy with the way this fits right now obviously we're not gonna be able to do that this is gonna be chopped we're gonna chop up here we're gonna probably get rid of this a lot of this stuff hammering chopping but it shouldn't be as much as i originally thought and back here roll this back fits in there good as well and i mean once it's dropped and stuff we're gonna have to cut and hammer but relatively good fit so i'm happy with that so guys we're back at home we got all the wheels we need so that's gonna do guys super quick vid today next video for the civic we're gonna be getting those wheels switched over and putting them on and hopefully driving it so i'm freaking filthy jeez yeah guys thanks for watching stay tuned for the civic build it's gonna get so cool it's just starting so this thing's gonna be a monster so thanks guys for watching catch you in the next video peace